Hi, my name is Logan Close, and I'm a producer, singer, and songwriter from the Billboard 500 Club's private mentorship program with Adam McInnes. Thank you so much for tuning into the Music Industry Contact YouTube channel, where we do hit song breakdowns, demo critiques, and have a wealth of music industry-related information for you to check out at any time. Today, we're breaking down New Jeans' attention. I'm very excited. I've never heard this song or this group before. Um, but as you know, we can't monetize these videos, so we would love to have you as part of our Patreon Golden Ear community, which gives you exclusive early access content, including videos and polls for selecting our next song breakdowns. If you'd like to join, just click the link in the description below. And if you're already supporting, thank you so much. All right, let's get into New Jeans Attention. All right, so as you guys know, I've never heard this song before. I'm going in completely blind. Without further ado, it looks like it's going to be a good one. Let's see what we let's see what we end up with here. Nice. We got here. We're going to a concert. I don't even know if this is a male or a female band. So I I don't know. I'm assuming. Okay, I like this music video, it's establishing a sense of purpose behind the song. saw him the one she had the, the sparker what do they call it in hotel transylvania the zap or the nice i love that vocal chop very interesting chords i love the colorfulness of this video Okay. This is awesome. It feels very like oddly modulation wise. Harmonies are gorgeous. Now, you can definitely tell the audience that they're trying to reach with this music video. It's very interesting. By the way, I don't select these. I just get handed them I get to react. It's very interesting. Okay, so the, the production is very linear, which is odd. Like, it's... I don't know. I've, I'm, I've never heard something like this. I've where it's just the same thing, but I mean, even that chorus relying just on those massive harmonies and those stacks to like get the point across is very, very interesting. Let's see what we can break down. Let's go back um, to the start and uh, we'll go forward section by section and see how they're evolving this. It's like very minimalist production, which is really interesting. So. I love the panning effect on that and like the massive hall reverb but but the reverb is very very far back you feel like a massive sense of space and I even see them reflecting that obviously being at a soccer pitch or something in the music video but um, the way that that pans from kind of the right side and then like snaps to the 
left ear is very interesting. I like how I like how um they are aware that there's going to be listeners who are listening to this song in AirPods or nice headphones, but that it's simple enough that you could play it out of a phone on a TikTok and it would and it would still translate well. That vocal chop is super catchy. Um but anyway, and, and this pad like just the that the, that chord progression, I I I don't have like the wizard ear that some people have to be able to like tell you what those chord progressions are. But that last chord feels oddly out of key. Like it's supposed to be minor, but they're doing it as a major. That one right there. That. And I like how they're not afraid to like have a long intro. There's no singing yet. Building. The verse is very contrasting of the intro, which is nice. So in the back half of that, they also added in extra harmonies on the higher end there than they did the first time, so... Now the second time Listen to the harmonies here Wow, four part harmony by the end of it so I want to point out because I try to do this in every video I used to do it right at the start but it's better to do it when it's actually applicable um, just melody structure and it's something that in the club we call the power of three it's where you do something one time do it again change it up on the third and then do it either the same as the third or completely different on the fourth time so in this vocal melody here I just want to point that out it's written in our subconscious biology we do this um, all the time I think I've said this in pretty much every single breakdown that I've done pointing these tricks out I'm just trying to get this out there so that we can be hyper aware of these kind of uh, this coding that in us um, either way that melody is very catchy um, and I like how the way that they're adding things and pulling it out but it's mostly relying on the percussion we haven't really heard a bass in this song yet and I'm not even sure if they added a bass in the chorus I wonder when I, if, I like how they're Oh yeah, there's the bass. It's just very subtle. Very like pure sub bass. Um, and and uh, the way that they're moving it and and rotating it is only in the pockets between the vocals, which is really interesting. Uh, you got me looking for attention. On the turnarounds there. Notice they change the melody up on the third time. Back to the fourth thing. Or back to the first thing for the fourth one, sorry. I like the progression. This pre-chorus is very interesting. So, I think because the chord progression is so wild, it's what's keeping my attention. Uh, and I also want to point out, using the title of the song in the verse is something that is hard to do without being cheesy. Um, but they're doing it in a way that where like I like how the back half of the verses so far, or I guess we we could call it the pre-chorus now that they've repeated it, um, uses that uh, very wide effect on the word attention. Um, yeah, there's just this is just a very odd song that I'm not I'm I'm not. It's its own thing. It's its own thing. It's working well. Amazing. Those, 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 
those harmonies there. They pulled the bass out, and they've also brought back the vocal chop from the start of the song. I like how they were A-T-T-E-N-T-I on instead of O-N, which that's very interesting. I mean, if they can do that, you can do anything, I guess, when it comes to <laughs> vocally. Very. This is just like a... A very oddly, just it's it's very yeah it's just it's a wild song it's a very wild song, I uh, I don't really know what the the best way to to react to it is it's kind of um, definitely out of the box, and just the the production is very hypnotic, in a way it does feel like I don't want to it does feel like repetitive to me in a way but i think that they the ways that they're keeping it interesting are are not like they're kind of unorthodox they're not general ways that that k-pop music or even just music in general uses to to keep people's attention and it keeps you very focused on the words because of how repetitive the 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 production is but either way um, before I give my final thoughts on the video, I just wanted to say if this video provided you any kind of value and you enjoyed it, I just would um, ask that you like and subscribe. It really helps us out. Um, also, if you're looking to get more into these kind of production tips and be, being hyper aware of the way that um, these producers are using to keep attention and to um, and to just ground people and uh, keep things interesting. Um, I can't recommend enough the producer breakdowns on the billboard500.com. They've done uh, Calvin Harris, Phineas, Rick Rubin, Diplo, and Pharrell Williams. And it gave me the most breakthroughs so far, definitely, since that. Um, what you actually do is you go through and you build kind of an ingredients list and what is the formula that each of these producers uses and how do they adapt that formula over their careers. Because a lot of the times that those producers you'll see them using the same tricks they're just getting creative within those limitations which is very interesting also if you're a musician producer songwriter or singer looking to grow in any way the billboard 500 club is for you i've been a part of it for over two years now and i've seen more improvement in myself than i ever thought was possible the network is incredible the information is incredible and the opportunities are like nowhere else on the internet there's over 70 mentors who are some of the most successful in the music industry teaching up-and-coming musicians producers songwriters executives um all of the above and don't wait too long there's a limited capacity honestly this song was very interesting would i listen to it again Probably not, but that's just because my taste is different. Uh, I think it's a really interesting song, and I can tell that the target audience that they're going for is not me. So they did a good job at hitting what they were what they were trying to do. So I mean, honestly, it's very there's lots to learn, and I from how particularly placed these things are. I think being a, the producer on this song it would be very difficult because it has to be so particular and so um, even just the vocal production on this song I think is the most exciting part of it um, uh, yeah this is, this is an incredible song and I enjoyed listening to it definitely took me out of my my average space and I guess that's what art is supposed to do right um, either way my name is Logan Close my social media is in the description hit me up I'd love to chat um, Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again in the next Producer Breakdown. Have a good night.